In the labs, when you're looking at pre-prepared slides, please note that every slide has uh, a label on the front that tells you what's on the slide, and then an alphanumeric label on the back. Whenever you place a slide on the light compound microscope, it's important that the label that tells you what's on the slide is facing upwards. Um, this won't make that big of a deal when we're at lower objective lenses, but as we move up in magnification, it will become increasingly more difficult for you to focus the sample if you have the slide upside down. So on the light compound microscope stage, which is this black platform here, you've got this slide clip. And you'll also notice that on the opposite side of the slide clip, you've got kind of a, a corner, it looks like, with a, a three quarters of a circle. That's where the corner of your slide is going to go. So I'm going to take this slide, I'm going to place this corner in that groove. And I'm going to open, a, open up the slide clip and I'm going to close it so that my slide is now clamped by the slide clip on my stage. What this allows me to do now is it allows me to use this mechanical stage arm to manipulate my slide. If I didn't place the slide in this stage clip, I would have to manipulate it by hand, and what we'll find is once we go up in magnification, it's going to become increasingly more difficult for us to make small adjustments without having drastic effects on our field of view. So now that I have my slide in place, I'm going to turn on the light source on the left-hand side of the scope, and I'm now going to bring my slide into focus. And so you should always start at the 4x objective, which is known as your scanning objective. Okay? On these objective lenses, we've got a 4, a 10, a 40, and a 100x. So I'm going to start with the 4x. And on the side of the scope, on either side, you've of course also got knobs that allow you to focus the slide. The smaller knob is known as the fine focus adjustment knob, while the larger knob is known as the coarse, C-O-A-R-S-E, focus adjustment knob. Notice that when I turn the fine focus, nothing seems to happen in regards to the stage. But when I turn the coarse focus adjustment knob, my stage actively moves up or down. Okay? This is making coarse adjustments to both the stage and the focus. And whenever we're at the 4x or scanning objective, we should always use the coarse focus to bring our sample into focus. So I'm going to bring this sample into focus now. All right, so you can't see it, but I can. Through my ocular lenses, I can now see that my sample is indeed in focus. So I am ready to use the 10x objective. Now, these microscopes are known as parafocal, which means that they remain relatively in focus when we switch between objectives. So when I switch from my 4x to my 10x, my slide is going to remain mostly in focus, but I am going to have to make slight adjustments using the fine focus adjustment knob. So once I move past the scanning objective, I should no longer use the coarse focus adjustment knob. I should only use the fine focus adjustment knob. So I've now used it on 10x and I've brought it into focus. The other thing you're always going to want to make sure you're doing when you're moving between objective lenses is you're also going to want to use the stage arm, the mechanical stage arm, to move your sample so that whatever piece of it of interest you have is in the center of your field of view. In other words, if I have a single cell, every time I move up in magnification, I want to readjust that cell so it's in the center of my field of view. Otherwise, as you get higher and higher in field of view, I'm sorry, in magnification, you run the risk of losing that sample if you don't center it in your field of view. So as you increase magnification, be sure to recenter your sample in your field of view. So I'm going to do that right now. So I've now recentered my sample and I'm ready to move to 40x. So again, I'm in 40x now. I can see my sample. It's fuzzy, so I'm going to use the fine focus adjustment knob to bring it into focus. And I'm once again going to use the mechanical stage arm to recenter it. Okay. So now I have recentered my sample and I'm at 40x. So when the time is needed to move from the 40x to the 100x objective, what you will do is first and foremost prepare your bottle of oil. We've got microscope oil available. 
And this particular bottle has a wand that will drip a drop of oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the objective lenses halfway between the 40x objective and the 100x objective so there is space that I can use to get to my slide. I'm then going to take my oil and I'm going to place a single drop of oil in the center of the beam of light on my slide. And I'm going to move my 100x objective through the oil once and then back. So now I can use my fine focus adjustment knob to bring my sample again into focus and I'm now viewing it at 100x uh, magnification, okay? which is technically 1,000 times because the ocular lenses add an extra element of a magnification of 10. The other thing to note is as I'm looking through my microscope at all of these different samples, if at any time the samples are too bleached out or too dark for me to visualize, then I need to come down here below the stage and use the diaphragm adjustment switch. That is going to limit the total amount of light that can pass through my slide. Okay? So it's going to kind of close or open like a camera aperture. And that's going to limit the amount of light passing through my slide. I can use this so I can better visualize whatever it is I'm looking at. If I did not use the diaphragm switch, I would be unable to effectively see things on the microscope because they're either going to be too washed out because there's too much light moving through the sample or they're going to be too dark for me to see anything. So if you're having difficulty seeing your samples, rather than messing with the light source switch here, which can technically dim the light, just use the diaphragm switch. Open it up or close it and that should help you visualize your sample. In the final part of this tutorial, I want to talk about proper microscope maintenance. When you've finished with your microscope, you're going to need to clean all of the objectives that you've used. So what you should do, first and foremost, is change the objective so that the 4x objective is over your slide, completely lower the stage, and remove the slide from the slide plan. The slide has oil on it in this particular instance, and my 100x objective also has oil on it. However, I always want to make sure that all of my objectives are clean in case any dyes or anything else has wound up getting on to the actual glass portion of the objective. If you do not clean these properly, then the dyes or oils are going to cake and become uncleanable. And that's going to make it a lot more difficult for both the people who come after your lab as well as you later on in the semester when you go to use your microscope. So you've been provided with a booklet of lens paper. This is very, very fine tissue-like paper and a bottle of lens cleaner, which is 70% ethanol. What you're going to do is simply take out a piece of lens paper. You're going to place a couple of droplets of lens cleaner on the paper. And you can then begin cleaning the objective. Now, I'm cleaning the objectives from 4 up, because 4 and 10 most likely did not touch the surface of the slide. So it's very unlikely that I'm going to transfer any dye or oil from these two objectives to one of the higher objectives. I'm going to get to the 40x objective, and I'm going to clean it with the lens paper and lens cleaner. And you can already see the lab before I came to do this tutorial didn't effectively clean this and there's a bit of safranin, most likely from the LED leaf, still on this objective. Okay. So I'm going to clean this with another piece of lens paper. And now the lens paper is coming out clear okay, and clean. So I've cleaned off any remaining dye that might have been on it but I still have the 100x objective that's covered in oil. So I'm going to take another piece of lens paper and some lens cleaner, and I'm going to clean off the oil from this objective, and then I'll dry it with a dry portion of the lens paper. Now, this had oil on it, and my slide also has oil on it, so I'm actually going to clean my slide 
with the lens cleaner and the lens paper. Now I can do this because the slide is a cover slip over it protecting the sample. If you're doing a sample that does not have a cover slip, then you're not going to want to put lens cleaner directly on the slide as it can wash out any of the dyes or stains that you've used on this slide. Once I've completed all of this, I'm again going to move the 4x object to where it is over um, the condenser. I will turn off my microscope. I will properly wrap the cord. And then I'll grab the microscope by the base and the arm, and I'll place it, ocular lenses first, into the bench cabinet. And that's it.